Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the important diagrams for class 10 CBSE board students. Okay. So let us first begin with discussing what are the two types of diagrams that usually you get in your question paper. Okay. So basically these diagrammatic questions are asked in two ways. Okay. The first way is they will directly provide you the question that draw the following diagrams and label the following parts. Okay. So in this type of question what you have to answer is you have to draw the diagram that they have asked in that particular question and you have to label the parts. Okay. And the second type of question that you get is they provide you the diagram as a question and they ask you to label the parts. So there they mention uh, the parts like A, B and C and they ask you to name the parts and write the function etc of the, that A, B and C and you have to answer the question accordingly. Okay. So these are the two types of question related to diagrams. Okay. So in this video I, I, I have discussed or I am going to discuss about uh, the diagrams that you have to practice before your exam okay and also at the end of this slide I have provided you a list of diagrams which you can note down in your copy and you can practice it before your exams. So you have to go through this entire video okay and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel okay. So let's begin. Another thing I would like to mention that your diagrammatic questions are marked on two bases. Okay. So the first is the, the things that they have been asked uh, in that question, you have to draw that thing properly. Okay. And the second is you have to label them properly. Drawing properly does not mean that you have to draw a, like an artist or like a pro. No way. Your drawing should be clear so that when the examiner is checking your copy, he or she can understand that what you have drawn in your copy. Okay. And you have to correctly label each and every part that they have asked in this in the in that particular question. Okay. Okay. So in the beginning, I would start with the list of diagrams which are which you generally get in an experimental basis question. Now what is experimental basis question or experimental based question? So they in that question they uh, will ask you to describe an experiment okay and you have to explain that thing by drawing this particular diagram. Without diagram you are not going to get full marks or proper marks okay. So let's see what are the experimental based diagrams that you can expect in your exam okay. The first is electrolysis of water okay next is displacement reaction next is acid solution in water conducts electricity next is action of steam on metal next is testing the conductivity of a salt solution okay so those were all the experimental basis diagram that you have to draw along with the question that they will ask okay without diagram you are not going to get full marks okay so next comes the direct question which you can expect direct question in the sense as i told you before that they will directly ask to draw the draw the following diagram and label the following parts okay or they can provide you the diagram as a question and they will ask you to label the parts. Okay. So let's see what are the diagrams that you can expect from this type of questions. Okay. So first is diagram of neuron. Okay. Next is the diagram of brain. Reflex arc. Diagram of human urinary system. Internal structure of heart, nutrition in amoeba, budding in yeast, budding in hydra, 
डायग्राम ऑफ ह्यूमन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ह्यूमन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम एल एस ऑफ अ फ्लावर फर्टिलाइजेशन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स ओके सो इन ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट दे विल डायरेक्टली आर्क यू टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम एंड लेबल दी पार्ट और दे विल प्रोवाइड यू द डायग्राम यू हैव टू लेबल दी पार्ट ओके सो दीज आर ऑल दैट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट ओके नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू दी क्रॉस Mendel's dihybrid cross. This is not a proper exact diagram, but you have to practice this portion. Okay, so that's why I have provided this diagram here also. Okay, you have to practice this chart, this crossing F one, F two, and what are the um, gamma, what are the uh, genotypes and phenotypes you are getting after the cross. Okay, you have to practice that. Okay. next comes in ohms law this is also very important students you have to practice this diagram also okay next comes the dex descriptive type of question that you can expect in the descriptive type of question like the ac generator dc generator question what they will ask they will ask you to write the uh, working principle and the mechanism now you have to explain the mechanism by drawing a proper diagram without diagram you are not going to get full marks okay so this diagram is very must so diagram of ac and dc generator is very important you have to practice this before your exams okay next comes the diagrams of lens concave lens convex lens both diagram you have to practice well okay then comes the diagrams of refraction through prism refraction through glass slab okay Refra recombination of spectrum of white light this type of diagrams also uh, they are frequently uh, are they frequently asked you in the examination you have to practice next comes the ray diagram very important students you are definitely going to get questions from ray diagrams so practice well ray diagrams okay you have to practice each and ray each and every ray diagrams at least 4 to 5 times okay practice practice and practice all the ray diagrams properly students okay these are all the ray diagrams what you can do is if you want to practice you can pause this video and you can draw this diagram in your copy okay i have provided all the ray diagrams all the expected ray diagrams that you can get in your question paper okay now comes the list of diagrams so as i told you before that at the end of this slide i am going to provide uh, i have provided a list of diagrams so you can jot down all these diagrams in your notebook sorry all these uh, lists of diagrams in your notebooks and you can practice before your exams okay these are going to be very helpful for you students okay now also i have provided some solve previous year's question okay i have some i have solved some previous year's question for you all students okay so this is the first question let's see what they have asked draw a diagram of human respiratory system and label pharynx trachea lungs diaphragm and alveolar sac okay so this is the diagram that you have to draw okay you can uh, draw this diagram in your notebook and practice okay next is the ray diagrams as i told you students before also that you will definitely going to get one question from ray diagrams not only one you can get more questions also okay but ray diagram they will definitely give you questions from there okay next is the uh, diagram of reproductive organs reproductive organ students please practice that things all that part also very well reproductive uh, structure of male reproductive uh, organs female reproductive organs Uh, then reproductive organs of flowers you have to practice that also very well okay also students i am going to suggest you one thing before ending this video that 
you practice all the diagrammatic questions all the diagrammatic previous years question okay if you find any difficulty you can contact us or you can call us okay we will definitely try to reach you out and solve your doubts okay so if you like this video then please subscribe our channel and like share and comment okay thank you